Okay, so now we're going to solve tan of 4x equals 3.3 between 0 and 360. So this is a stretch by factor of quarter parallel to the x-axis. So tan would usually have a period of 180 degrees. So because we've stretched it by factor of quarter, the period is stretched as well. So 180 degrees divided by 4 is 45 degrees. So we now have a period of 45 degrees. So inverse tan both sides. So inverse tan of 3.3 .3 is 73.1 degrees to 3 sig fig. OK, now let's sketch tan. Doesn't need to be perfect. Now this is between 180 and 3, uh, sorry, from 0 to 360. So 3.3 .3 is up here. Okay, so uh, we can get our first solution there, 73.1. We can get the next solution by adding on 180. Oops, 180 plus the 73.1 is 253 to 36 fig. Okay, so now we can apply the transformation. So dividing both sides by 4 gets us to 63.3 degrees to 36 fig for that one. And uh, inverse tan of 3.3 .3 divided by 4 is 18.3 to 3 sig fig. Okay, so um, now these are 45 degrees apart, the period of tan. So these are two solutions to the problem. But we would be expecting more. Now, we would expect between 0 and 360 for tan x equals 3.3 .3 to have these two solutions. So because it's been stretched by factor of a quarter, we would now expect there to be eight solutions altogether. So all I need to do is just keep on adding on 45 degrees to get the next solution. OK, so add on 45 degrees, we get 108 degrees to 3 sig fig. Then add on another 45, we get 153, and add on 45, 198. I guess I could do this without the calculator, but you know, long day. 243. lost count of how many I've got so far, adding on another 45, just need to keep going until I can't go any further, or I go past 360. This will be the last one I think, 333 three, three degrees to 3 sig fig. Right, so what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are eight solutions. Um, so we have uh, 18.3 degrees, 63.3 degrees, uh, 108, 153, 198, 243, 288, and 333. And they are the eight solutions that solve the original problem.